Hello YouTube, Scamp the Wolf here, back with another video for your viewing pleasure, and that video will be a uh, ranked video. And this is the first ranked video um, that I'm doing on the channel, so I have all of Shinedown's albums here, so we're going to rank each Shinedown album from best to from worst to best. Um, I Of course they have seven albums, and Planet Zero just came out, so yeah, let's get started with what I have here, so... At the bottom, I really gotta go with Threat to Survival. It isn't nearly as interesting as the other albums. Um, it's not bad, but it's just solid, I guess. Um, there's some good songs. Cut the Chord and State of My Head are pretty good. Um, um, I heard Dangerous and Thick as Thieves. Those songs aren't nearly as bad. Oblivion. The rest of the album is just so mediocre, like, especially when you get the tracks like It All Adds Up and Black Cadillac, and it's not really the best that they have to offer, so, yeah, Threat Survival easily their weakest, but pretty solid. Next up, we have Us and Them. Now, I don't really return to this album as much when I um, listen to Shine Down when I'm in the mood to listen to Shinedown. It's usually one of their better albums, not usually this one, Us and Them. It's still good, you know. Um, it's just that I never, when I, even when I was getting into Shinedown, I never really, like, listened to much of this album, so I don't really remember a lot of it. Like, <clears throat> I know Heroes and Save Me and I Dare You, I think those were the singles. Um, Beyond the Sun, uh, begin Again, Atmosphere, uh, the rest of it I don't really remember, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for us and them, it's just not really one of their best, but still pretty solid, <clears throat> this one I have it at number 6 on the list, um, and Dutch of Survival is number 7. Now, number 5, this might be an unpopular opinion, um, and I was actually debating on whether to put this at number 5 or number 4, but here it is anyway. Um, it's their new one, Planet Zero, and it has a really good concept, yeah, sure, like, definitely, uh, but I feel like it is a little bit botched when it goes to, like, the end of the album. The It's the first half is better than the second half album, especially when you have tracks like No Sleep Tonight, Planet Zero, Dysfunctional You, um, Hope is good, um, Army of the Underappreciated, which is in the second half, but... Other than that, I mean, like, the other tracks, um, they're fine. Definitely fine. There's a couple of goose eggs, like Dead Don't Die and, um, Sure is Fun and What You Wanted. Those songs, like, I can't bring myself to really enjoy them as much, but, you know, like, it's still a decent enough album if, for Shinedown, if you're, like, if you, the, if you're gonna say the concept of it is, well executed, and it's decently executed, but it's not one of their best albums overall, so Planet Zero by Shinedown, number five. Number four, we have Amaryllis. This one I just think is more memorable than the previous three, um, I hate to say. So Amaryllis, I just think, yeah, it's more definitely more solid. Um, you definitely gotta go with tracks like um, Adrenaline, um, Nowhere Kids is an underrated track, Miracle, I'll Follow You, uh, My Name Wearing Me Out for My Sake. Yeah, there's just a lot of good stuff on this album. It's not like amazing or anything, but it's certainly good. Like, this is actually one of my first Shinedown albums as well. We'll get to the one that's act well, that was my first later in the list. Um, and I got into the band when this album was here was coming out. So, um, and of course, people know the song "Bully." The second track, "Bully," was a single. Not one of my favorites on the album, but still pretty solid. So, yeah, that's Amaryllis. Number four. Now we get to number three. Leave a whisper. For the longest time, this was my favorite. Probably because I don't know nostalgia, I guess, but. Objectively speaking, this is number three on the list. Um, there is a lot of underrated stuff on this album. 
Um, of course, fly from the inside, 45 and all that stuff, burning bright. But there is some solid stuff on here, like underrated stuff, No More Love and Better Version. Those songs are pretty solid. Lacerated, Crying Out. I mean, yeah, these are jams, I guess. Like, this is a very good debut album for this band. Left Out is kind of underrated, even though it does kind of have an awkward, like, rhythm a little bit, kind of, sort of. Yeah, this is a good way to start Shinedown's career, so definitely worth mentioning as their third best Leave a Whisper. Number two, um, this is definitely one of my personal favorites, and it's one of their more recent albums. This is Attention, Attention. Definitely put the band back on track after Threat to Survival was released. There's definitely a lot of good stuff. I think this is a better concept album than Planet Zero. And I think a lot of people could probably agree with that. So, uh, Devil, Black Soul, um, Pyro, Monsters, um, Creatures is good, um, Special's good, Human Radio's excellent. Yeah, like, pretty much a lot of these tracks are pretty good. I really don't have any complaints with this album. This is probably the best of their 2010 material, in my personal opinion, and you could disagree if you want, but this is personally one of my favorites from Shinedown. Highly recommend it. And now, of course, we get to number one, and this was actually my first Shinedown album, as with a lot of people, I guess, unless you were born in the... unless you are like, in early 2000s, not in... you found out, you know, Leave a Whisper first, of course, I got here. The Sound of Madness, definitely their best album by far. Um, their writing is the best on this album. Their composition, um, the production is even the best. You got Rob Cavallo as the producer. Of course, Chris Lord Alge as the mixer, and Doug McKean mixed one of the songs, the title track. Yeah, Devour Sound of Mad Madness, Second Chance, definitely great songs. Cry for Help is good. Crow and the Butterfly, If You Only Knew. Uh, pretty good songs. I mean, the first half is probably better than the second half, but there's some solid stuff in the second half, like Breaking Inside, Call Me, Nice Little Closer. Yeah, this is definitely how to do things right in the Radio Rock kind of scene. And so this is definitely an essential for that. If you're really looking for that style of music, maybe you're new to it, or you just want to, like, investigate this band's material so Sound of Madness is definitely the best and that is it for this video so what do you think of my ranking leave your response in the comment section down below this is Scamp the Wolf signing out take care